another day here in Japan. I absolutely love the sounds of all the trains. Listen to that. And this is just Pat being silly, and I'm like, no, no, you don't do that. <laughs> Video games and anime is just in every single part of Japanese culture. You can see it here in the train, we can see it on the screen, in the posters, and yes, even in the train stations going down to wherever you're going. It's just a little bit of everywhere. Our first stop is Yodobashi in Akihabara. For those of you who don't know, Akihabara is the geek mecca of Japan. So whether you're into anime, video games, and anything in between, this is the place to go. <laughs> and before we started shopping and exploring, we went to one of our favorite restaurants that serves some really good food. And you can see the prices are pretty cheap. For example, I really love the grilled pork rib plate at 990 yen. Here are the prices in Canadian and USD. All right, so we are in one of my favorite places, which is the dollar store here in Japan. It's called Daiso. And basically the majority of the stuff, like 99% of the things are 100 yen, which is about a dollar, maybe like 90-ish cents for us here in Canada now. But look at this, I found something that is not a dollar and it's a game console for $3. Look at it, I'm really curious to try it out. We're gonna bring this with us. It says there's 23 playable games. And from what I can see over here, it looks like there's Tetris, not sure what other games Games we have here but we're gonna pick this up and try it out at the hotel room because why not a three dollar game console what makes this even funnier is the fact that this is actually the last one so we got lucky on this one it's almost like it was actually made for us or maybe it's just me being superstitious maybe there's a whole row of them and i just don't know where they are and then we ventured our way towards the geeky section oh yes the sailor scouts who doesn't love <laughs> sailor moon and you can see all your different kinds of geeky characters and yes, the Nintendo Switch section, which we're going to venture into a little bit more in depth. Look at these t-shirts, aren't they adorable though? Okay, what the heck? Why is it called Naughty? That is a thing of nightmares. It is right here. Oh my god, please. Can I, oh, you can turn them on and off? I'm sure they probably turned the batteries off, but look at that. Oh, mommies. And here it looks like we have a character called Lovat. I guess we're gonna have to check out the QR code. It looks like you have little robot characters here. Hello, can we actually call them? Achan? Achan? No, it says low battery. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. Hello? Hello? <gasps> oh, hi! <laughs> oh my god, it's coming to me! <laughs> Sachi, you're adorable. My goodness, you're cute. What are these things? Looks like they're friends of some sort. I'm gonna look into these. By the way, navigating these aisles can get a little overwhelming, so do take your time. All right, so we made it to the gaming side here, and I'm looking at the new releases. Some of them I never heard of before. Maybe I just need to go out more. But Grand Blue Fantasy Relink for PS5. If you're familiar with this game, let me know what you think, if you like it. I do see Final Fantasy VII as well. Obviously, we know this one. Tekken 8 looks like it's coming out. There's Persona 3 Reload, which I think this one says for PS4. That's interesting that it's coming out for PS4. Obviously Baldur's Gate. Magician's Dead. What is this one? This one's for PS4 right here. Pretty interesting. I'm actually really curious to see what they have in the new releases for the Switch. Because a lot of times Japan will get the games before we do. So even if we are set to get it in like two months later, English is still activated on it, which means we can actually play it ahead of time. So that's one of the things I want to check out. This is something we still don't see much in North America anymore, which is art books and guidebooks related to games. I have yet to see a guidebook in North America. Mostly art books are easy to find, but guidebooks? Mm -mm. All right, here's part of the Switch collection. Oh my goodness, is that Passport 2? That is Passport 2. What? I didn't even know they had a version on the Switch. This game, if you're curious about it, my friend Jazza played it on his channel. I think this is Puzzle Part 2 too though, but it's basically an art game simulating where you're becoming a starving artist and trying to make yourself your own living. And over here, I don't know what this game is, but it's really cute. It's called Party Party Time and it looks like mini games. Look at that. Just mini games. Let's party time. I guess it's kind of like the Mario Party, but not Mario related. So this one's called Bayonetta and the Lost Demon. I didn't even know this game came out, but it looks really cute. And the art style is absolutely gorgeous, but it is out in North America. 
and it's cheaper in North America. It's about 40 bucks. So I think I'm gonna hold off buying it here and I'm just gonna buy it back home. And of course there's more Switch games. This is Japan. You're gonna get aisles and aisles and aisles. I think at the Best Buy back home, it's only like two aisles, right? Oh my god, look at all these Legend of Zelda amiibos here. Oh my god. I don't know if you can hear the background music though, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's really pretty here. <laughs> it's just a lot of noise pollution. But they have everything from Splatoon to... We have different characters here. We have Monster Hunter, Super Smash Brothers. We have Persona, but also from Super Smash, which is, yeah, typical. There seems to be a demo of Mario vs Donkey Kong. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It looks like so much mischief happening right here. I think it's really cool that we get to preview games that are about to come out in the store because if it's something I didn't pay attention to and you just look at this game and you're like, man, this is so pretty and this is coming out in like, soon. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. I am tempted to get it, but I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. And this section here... <laughs> is where I was shopping a lot for the main Nerdy Crafter channel. Just because there's like a sheer amount of really cool products. One of the videos I did was the Kurumaro plushies and they still have them. They have still quite a bit of these things, but nothing really changed. I can't see anything interesting for me to pick up yet. Something really has to stand out for it to be different. So far, it looks like it's the same products that I picked up from a few months ago. They don't make things fast enough for me to review. Oh my god. Hello there, Nightmare Fuel. I'm just passing by. And so Pat and I decided to take a little break for some drinks and donuts that we found in Jack and the Donut. The donuts were kind of dry, they weren't the greatest, but the view of the cat cafe was absolutely adorable. I love them so much. Look at the kitty cats. So we made our way to the main part of Akihabara, which is the dream place for weebs, <laughs> geeks, anime nerds, video game nerds. And we're going into a store, well, a building called Radio Kaikan. And if you make your way to the fourth floor, you're going to find yourself in Ami Ami, which really has an amazing <laughs> selection of collectibles. Here, let me show you a couple. You all know I love my miniatures, and here we have grocery miniatures, Kirby themed. And I think I really want to unbox this on our gaming channel. Trash Pandas, we're gonna do this. We're gonna pick this up. It's about $56 more or less, but look how cute this is. We're picking that up. And then here they have tiny mystery boxes with different characters that you can get. These looks like pretty fruits. <laughs> Up here, we have funny looking rice balls. Let's check those out. Looks like you can get any of these ones. This is a funny looking bread right there. This is the tiny plushy characters that you can get. Still cute, but not my kind. All right, so let's check out what this game console is for about $3. Again, this is really cute, really tiny. I don't even know if it has a battery in there, but okay, that actually opened pretty easily. What? Okay, this takes normal batteries. I thought it would take button batteries, but okay, I need to open this. Give me a second. And here we go. Look at that. It's double A batteries. Look at me. My bag of batteries. <laughs> All right, let's take out our double A batteries. I'm so happy it doesn't take button batteries. This is, this is the best. So let's put this here and this here. And let's discover what kind of games is in a $3 console. My goodness. All right, let's try this. Hello? Hello? Did I put the battery in wrong? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Okay, well, it looks like my other batteries are dead, so these got to go to recharge. As soon as I put these new batteries in, it started making that sound kind of very loud. Can we touch these buttons? No, it is not touch screen. Okay, so the question is, how do I change? Oh, no, that I, hello? Game over. Okay, I, I don't, it did say there were many games in here. It's telling us we have 23 games. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a Google translate on how to use this and see if we can figure out where the games are. Five minutes later. All right, so it took me a little while to try and understand what's going on. 
But as you can see here, this is where we're going to select the game. Apparently this is where we're going to select the level. The first one seems to be Tetris. A lot of them seem to actually be Tetris. If you see, this is number two, still Tetris. And as we're gonna move along, you can see at number nine, it's starting to change. Now I'm not sure what's going on here, but I think we need to complete certain blocks and maybe <laughs> I'm not sure what game this is. And then over here looks like a car racing game. And I'm guessing these little stick figures is racing. Not sure what's going on, <laughs> but okay. And then here it looks like we have an Arkanoid type version. For those of you who don't know this game, you're basically a stick and you have to push the ball to break certain barriers. I think this is what this game is. And here it looks like we have some other type of ball and barrier. So again, I'm not familiar with these games. They do not give us a list of games or even how to play it, which is kind of weird. And here I'm guessing another kind of Arkanoid or maybe Pong. I see another pod on the top here, not sure. Again, same thing, not sure what's going on, but they're basically the same games over and over, just different stages. And again, you can see this here, but it looks, this one kind of looks a little bit more Tetris-y, but you have to complete the blocks, which is one of my favorite games that I've played on the Nintendo a long time ago. It's a puzzle game I remember playing. And we're back to Tetrises. More Tetris. More. More. <laughs> 20 is 21, 22, and 23. So uh, the majority of the 23 games are basically Tetris. Basically Tetris. All right, so let's start with game one and we're gonna press start. Oh my, oh my goodness, the speed. Rotate, 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 what? Block, oh gosh. <gasps> this is falling way fast. What level am I? Clearly too much, clearly too much. Oh gosh, that is a little block. <laughs> okay, um, sure. All right, pause, pause. Okay, oh gosh, why do I have goosebumps? This is a little scary. Let's go into the next game. <laughs> this intro song. <laughs> so long. And here we have the next game. I'm not sure what's going on, but let's see what happens here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, this is tanks. <gasps> this is tanks. Oh my goodness, I'm going, I'm going to die. Shoot. Ah, I exploded. <laughs> Get out of here, we're playing tanks. Ah, I'm exploding. <laughs> okay, you know what? I love this. This is probably the best console ever. Boom. Ooh, <gasps> exploded. Oh, this would keep me busy. I love this game. I used to play this again as a little trash panda. Let's check out this racing game. What am I supposed to do? Oh, we're supposed to avoid the cars. Ooh. Oh, this is obnoxious. I'm turning the sound off. This is quite obnoxious. Woo. Okay, we're just, we're just cruising. Look at that. I wonder if it gets faster. Cause this is, what happens if we crash? I don't- Ah, we crashed! <laughs> okay, next game. Alright, here we have Arkanoid. Let's try this one out. Oh, go. Okay. So we're- we're gonna break this heart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's- it feels like it's slow motion, but all we're doing is just waiting for it to break the blocks. This is quite slow. But you know what? This is entertaining. This is basic entertainment look at that at its best we're just gonna we're not gonna break the whole thing ah! but it's slow enough that i could just watch it and play and get into oh look at that oh my goodness yes look at that yes very nice next is this one so i'm going to guess we have to shoot or something so let's check that one out oh that's the same thing is it? Oh, what? <gasps> what am I doing? Oh, I'm supposed to avoid it. Am I supposed to shoot? Oh, I am shooting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. These are aggressive. There we go. Okay. Oh, and the shapes they change. We can't shoot fast enough. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I get the gist of it. 
<laughs> we exploded. Next one, I'm not sure what this one is. Again, I'm not sure what a lot of these are, but let's check it out. What do you do? Do I shoot? Oh, okay, it's the same thing. Oh, that is explosion. Okay, nothing special about this one. This one's basically building the blocks, I think. I think so? What is that? What am I doing? Oh, you have to break them! Okay, hand-eye coordination kind of game. Oh, that is... That is... Oh, gosh. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I get it. This is fun, though. This is the reverse Tetris where we're just basically putting the blocks together. So we have to make straight lines as we're going forward. Hello? Okay, there we go. So where the gaps are, hello? Oh no, that's not what I'm... Is that what I'm doing? I think so? So here, there we go. Yeah, we're supposed to make straight lines, kind of like Tetris lines. Like us all. Okay, pretty simple. I like this one too. And then 16 to 23 is basically more Tetris. And it's just going to get more and more difficult. I have to say for about $3, this is cute. I can definitely see myself bring this on, I don't know, leave it on the desk or something and whoever's, I don't know, bathrooming. <laughs> It's definitely entertaining, different from a phone. It's kind of pure nostalgia. I like it. Worth the $3. But stay tuned for part three of Japan Vlogs because we're going to be looking for Switch games that are really cheap. See you in the next video.